Okay, the special meeting of the Board of Directors of the 5th District GSNA is now in session. And this is Bill Day. This is Flynn here. Long. <coughs> Ms. Crawford. <coughs> Bill Day. District. Christian. Here. Mrs. Graves. Mrs. Rittenhouse. Ms. Charity Wells. Here. Mrs. Armstrong. Here. Ms. McGee. Here. Mrs. Stanley. Here. Mrs. Burns, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, Mrs. Mrs. Smith, Here. Brenda Smith, Here. and Mrs. Langford, and Miss Peacock. Mrs. Lewis, Peacock, no. yeah. I hope that you all received your cards in time to prepare somewhat for this meeting. And the purpose of this meeting is to elect all standing committees and representatives to help group, appoint a parliamentarian, to appoint legal counsel, to appoint a chaplain, to appoint auditors, to appoint auditor of elections, to set a time and place for board and business meetings of the district to appoint authorized persons or persons for membership approval, to select the bank for deposit of funds, and the plan of order for the year and any new business which should come up for this meeting. I have one communication from Mrs. Armstrong that I would like to read to you. Dear friend, thank you so much for the nice remembrance. I'm considering several things to use it for, but haven't decided yet. One feels quite close to the those you work with, and I shall always remember the two years I worked with you on the executive board. Thank you so much for being supportive to me in our work, and also for remembering me so nicely. Very lovely. I think our next item of business is to elect these standing committees. And I don't know how we can handle this best to make it quite expedient. Ms. Flynn, on the Ethical and Legal Standards Committee, uh, at our meeting, uh, each person there expressed a willingness to serve another year, and I suggested uh, a new chairman for the uh, committee, and I talked to two people, and neither one felt that they had the time to devote uh, to being chairman, but we're still willing to serve on the committee. So, if I could make a motion that um, we consider uh, the same committee 
which uh, last year consisted of Miss Mallory, Mary Cates, Miss Campion, Miss Barbara Peacock, Mrs. Langford, um, Miss Parker, and Miss Gail Smith. Mrs. Gail Smith. That uh, ethical legal space. Yeah. How many members is that, Miss Williams? Uh, I believe that is um. Uh, let's see. How oh, it's listed here. Um. The regular members were uh, myself, Miss Parker, Miss Cates, and then the others were representatives from the um, various sections. Is it, was it nine altogether that would Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well, eight. I think the private duties are missing. Is that, does that cover all sections? Ms. Campion was from the EATC section, Ms. Peacock was from the um, public health, and Ms. Langford was occupational help. Ms. Parker was from section. I'm from the general duty section, and I would like to uh, substitute someone else on, in my group for to be on this committee for me. Or for you. Right. Oh, yeah. um, uh, you. Diana Simmons. Is there someone from NSA there? Uh, yes, uh, I'm Mr. Patrick. I guess I had already talked to her. Diane Simmons, um, if you don't mind me telling you, joined the association in order to work and be free to be on some of the committee. She's president of the Emory Alumni, so she'll make you a good representative. I think it tells you on all of these. This thing I'm nine looking nine for, numbers. I can't find. Oh, I think I checked with the bylaws and making it up. Nine members. Can only be nine. Representative the on practice of each. Oh, uh, let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, I guess I didn't count myself. Does that count your chairman or you still need a chairman? I still need a chairman. For the benefit of chairman, it has to be selected from the nine. It has to be a director, right? I think it'd be a very good idea when we have elected these committees if we do be able to complete the list them so that take the part of that after we've completed them, so we'll be sure that some of us, you know, and, and, and naming them so frequently, we'll come up with different names. Mm -hmm. Uh, who is the name you had? Uh, uh, Betty Brahma, she's the NSA. She, she was very good on the minute she took this last meeting, and I had them in within 24 hours. 
call she said she all. would serve on legislation, you know, too, so if we didn't need her on both, I could nominate her for legislation. But she would, said she would serve on two, and then or these were the two she was interested in. Would it help to write these names on the blackboard? How would it facilitate Would you like for me to write for well, the tab? Or you would you like to? Uh, I don't mind. Uh -huh. It gives me something to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll try to write real big. Miss Cynthia Mallory. Can you all see? Do you have a section, Miss? Oh, okay. Well, Miss Mallory is EACT. And um, it is Miss Mary Cates, isn't it? Mrs. 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 Is it Mrs. 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 Mary Cates? <coughs> Someone's a general duty. Summons. Uh, Jane, Miss Jane Campion. She is. 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 Uh -huh. Is it Miss Bobber? Uh -huh. Well, let me get that yeah. correction then. What section are you on? Public health. And Mrs. Langford? Mrs. Elizabeth. Elizabeth Langford. Isn't she here? She'll be a little later, maybe. Uh huh. I'll say she's here. And uh, then Mrs. Fitzpatrick. What's your first name? Catherine. Ms. Catherine Fitzpatrick. Well, let's see. Mary Kate, Louise Parker. Yes, uh huh. Louise Parker. Mary Kate, Louise Parker. Mary Kate, Louise Parker. Mary Kate, Louise Parker. Mary Kate, Louise I'll be glad to. Didn't you mention a seminar? And Charity Wells. Mm -hmm. Diana Simmons. Yes, Second your motion. 
favor of Miss Charity Wells. Uh, well, I've already got you up there, you know. Uh, oh, shoot. Now, we're lacking a private duty person on this committee. That's, well. And we have one, two, three. We miss, um, you know, just because we don't have a private duty section that is active, I guess, really doesn't mean that we can't have one on the committee, does it? Well, we have we 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 haven't really given them up, have we? They sort of gave us up. Well, yeah, that's true. But I did we not uh, yeah. say that they were still officially on the? Well, last year we nominated a lot of them, and then they didn't. Uh, did they follow through town? I don't think they did. Yeah. So, and then we had to go around and get some more people. Uh, I mean, I think, think we ought to ask them, but we're just I, I not going to ask them. We ought to ask them. I think so. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go to the board and ask them. Well, I think so. But then if they don't, I just would leave it unfilled. If we do. Maybe somebody else will have a name. Maybe that's why I'm going to ask them. Maybe somebody has a name they'd like to suggest. Since we don't have a chairman of the section. The thing that I'm Ms. going to be sure to do uh, is to satisfy the bylaws. I don't tell you, I don't know the And that says that uh, it shall be composed of nine members representing the committee on practice of each of the occupational sections. And the chairman, one of the directors of the 5th District Nurse Association. Uh, shall be one of the chairman shall be now you have that and you have the other two people that you that were elected last year which was um, um, Parker and uh, Kate that you elected and these others were representatives of these sections now you must satisfy your bylaws I think and as long as you have not thrown that private duty section out you should try to get a private duty nurse to see if you'll serve. Then you will have done all you can do here. But if we add, if we nominate one and she doesn't accept, we don't have to go through again and again. The mm -hmm. board just, I mean, suppose she doesn't accept it. I think in this instance that you would probably give Carolyn the authority to give her several names or Wells could have several names contacted to get one to serve on it. Then your bylaws would be, no one could come back and say that you aren't carrying them out. And who, who would you take from the committee? And, uh, or would you we have like one. To plus the other? Is that limited? I think you, yes, limited. Yeah. Nine have members. Nine. Then who you want to take off there? Now, it's not, I'm not taking no. anybody. No. But I mean, well, you, Miss, you must have these I'd six like to have people Mary plus Kelly's these three. Membership committee, if that's all right with you. Right, as well. Mm -hmm. She wants me to take. <laughs> she has been mighty good. <laughs> She's so interested in membership promotion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's interested. She, she She's so dynamic, you know. Yeah. She, you, you would be willing to share. She, she, she's, she's already agreed. She's already agreed. We have to give up somebody, Miss Wells. Uh, One. Who is it? You have to give up somebody. Oh. That's what the parliamentarian said. This, don't you have, this person was not elected last year. She's representing EACT, isn't she? And is this person representing EACT? Mm -hmm. They were not she, elected. Uh, then, no. well, she's one that knows the She's one from each section. Miss Case would be the logical one on that. Put on the membership because she's gotten really involved in it already. But she's she's really involved in this other one too. And if she couldn't come to all the meetings, she could come to to you know what she could come to. Um, my point I am making to you all is that you elected three last year, then you put.
put these sticks on because uh, of uh, representing the sections. And the three that you elect, that you elected, were, of course, you, Miss Wells, Miss Chandler, and Miss Parker, and Mrs. Case. Those three were elected. You see, and then the other six represent the sections. Miss. Is Miss Simmons uh, general duty? What yes. section? Well, I think she's the only one for general duty. Yeah. Well, well, they you, were only elected last year for the one year. Oh, now, one year. they could serve the, the two okay. years, but you see, you still have two representatives down here from this one section. Well, that, that's not, that's the only one elected. Yeah, but you see, that, that's not, I'm talking about in the names down here, in the six names that are representing sections, you have one section representing twice. We have two on NSA section. Well, but two on the public health. Uh -huh. The three on EAC two. Well, but you and these two do not count. Isn't it one from That's each right. of the six? That's right. So uh, there are two. Mm -hmm. See, Miss Mallory and Miss Campion, and uh, that they are two. And there's one, one each for the other section. With no private duty. So it's between Miss Mowry and Miss Campion, really. Well, Miss Campion was chairman of this particular section up in Minnesota, and she really has a lot to offer to the committee. I don't think Cynthia Mowry would be too upset. Well, we could elect Miss Campion in the place of either Louise Parker or Mary Cates, and then that would take her out of this group, and then you could still go to private duty. Right. See, uh, Parker is public health, making the second person public health, and we, if you wanted to, we could make Miss Campion in Louise Parker's place. And then you get both Miss Mallory and Miss uh, Campion but on that. Would that it relieve uh, Mrs. Cates to go to membership? No, Miss Cates would still be on there and she could be on membership too if she wants to. She'll probably not be on both. But then both of them are used to it so much. Would she be a saint? If it will facilitate matters. No, we only have motion on the phone. May I amend it? I move to amend the motion that is on the floor by substituting the name Jane Campion for Louise Parker. Now I'm going to turn, did I do it right? Almost. <gasps> Almost. <laughs>
Secretary that Jane Campion will be the elected representative to ethical, ethical legal, and professional standards committee. Now, the elected members of this committee are Miss Charity Wells, Miss Jane Campion, and Mrs. Case, Mary Case. this is going to be all right. Uh, I move that the Ethical Legal Standards uh, uh, Committee be composed of the following. And uh, I sort of adjusted it according to the amendment there. I could just go ahead and list these and um, give it to you as a motion. Well, if it's not going to be this, uh, the same, it would not quite be this. So I will need to withdraw the uh, well, motion that it be she, this. She merely amended your motion by striking out Parker and inserting this person uh -huh. all that, which made the main motion amended, you see, to, the, to this, exactly like it is right up here on the board other than this person is an elected member other than this party. If you want to withdraw that, then the amendment's <laughs> gone. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you leave it like it is, and that would be the way it would be other than right. adding the uh, private duty person to it. You still have to do that. We just amended it without any formality then, didn't we? No, she took a vote on the amendment. Okay. <coughs> then, I'll, then I'll just write this out and also add a private duty name if somebody has a real good suggestion. Thought of. <laughs> Ms. Wells, uh, 
as to which one to list here. workshop May the 8th and it started 30 minutes late so there were no minutes taken and I just did get the name sketched down on a notepad on there 
of the people that did work, you may want some from those. Miss Cates was a team leader. Tell her, Miss Smith and Miss Lott, and I've got here Lily Malone. I don't know who she is. And then we have Lizzie. That's right. Lizzie Malone, and then Charlotte Stacks, Adrian Ames, and Andy Stevens took them, but she had to send her back. So she was unable to. And Carol Reddish, and then Miss Reddish called back. Those were the ones that agreed at the workshop to work. You can meet us on work in any classes on leadership. I would like to ask this group to react to this idea. I believe we have to have five numbers. If we had five numbers and the committee had some leeway, uh, I would like to ask our executive secretary to go with me to some of the hospitals and talk about membership. And then if we could appoint five and save five places later on, we would come back to you and make some suggestions from this series of visits that I would like to make with our executive for additional names. Well, since you have five or more, it sounds like you have as many as you want, so why don't we say what we want tonight and you can add on. Um, but we, we would like to have the five, and I thought we could have uh, uh, Mrs. Stanley, Miss Kate, Miss Ann, Miss Woodall, and Tilla, and then some of those that you're getting the younger ones. Uh, one of them, I think, said she'd work on membership. Excuse me for reaching there. Or Virginia Brown, let's see, she says national defense, ethical, legal, that's one of the new ones, and her third one is public relations. I don't know. And uh, uh, here's one for membership promotion, Shelby Abernathy. Do you know her? Mm -hmm. She's one of our staff. In public health. The first and second would be uh, emergency health preparedness, and third one would be nominations. Well, I don't think need, need uh, so many from the same, you know, a lot of aims and, and public health. Sure, sure. Sure. Um, is that Jackie or Sherry? Sherry. 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 Kate's is EACC, and it's what all is NSA, and Tella, she's general duty too, isn't she? You know whether she's been promoted since then or not. I'd like to add Helen Hughes, she's general duty. She's talking. She said she would consent. I had her. I wanted to add Alma Thompson, that's the occupation I have, I believe. Hughes is uh, NSA. Oh, what is Alma Thompson? Hughes is NSA. Alma. She might be in the book as general duty, but she's in the Helen Hughes is in general duty. Okay. She says put it back to general duty. Helen Hughes. Annie Welch. Annie Pearl Welch. Annie Pearl Welch. She is NSA. Mrs. I don't think we have any problems. <laughs> really. Well, <laughs> if we could just get all them to join. <laughs> <laughs> well, they all members. Yeah. Well, we're making a new one. 
All those in favor of Ms. Margaret Armstrong serving as chairman of the bylaws, please. Um, opposed? Ms. Margaret Armstrong is elected chairman of the bylaws committee. Now, the membership of this committee, uh, at least five members. Are there some suggestions for persons to serve on this committee? I have one person, Wilmot William EHC section. Wilmot, then that M M O T section. We get <laughs> Shelton, she's in general duty, but she was uh, district chairman in Las Vegas in about Nevada a few years ago. Sheldon Shelton T. Miss the Mrs. Mrs. She's general duty. I think she said she'd agree to help us, in particular in public relations, but she definitely could not be chairman if her schedule was going to be so heavy. What section is she in? Is she in MSA? She's got one on there. How about the strategy? Thank 
last year's members. Excuse me. We need one more member. Uh, well, didn't Miss Stroud say she would help? Damage was chairman. Let me leave her on. Well, Miss Damage. Mary Mary Damage. Mary Damage. Was that? Would y'all like to give me one or two alternates on that one? Thank you. 
Brahma. B R A M A. Chairman, Mrs. Catherine W. Jacobs. And we need seven members. <coughs> Mrs. Uh, Lois Angel, I believe, sir. Lois Angel. She's in the NSA section. I've been three public health nurses on um, the legislative committee and no EACT member. And the other one's occupational health and NSA. I don't know. Well, someone said she was in it. Lucy Mace was in SA. She is. She retired as an administrator. What is Tony? Yeah, She's an EACT oh. at Piedmont. She's on the faculty. Oh, excuse us. We, she was somebody said she was oh, we are, That's what we were trying to figure out. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Now we're back to our committee on nomination. Does any member of that get elected? I can't remember. Tomorrow. The only elected member is the chairman, who's yeah. Mrs. Jacobs. This is the one you have to have your section with the TV. Uh, I'll create their section. Um, I don't believe so. Oh, if seven members, if no associates is the only okay. uh, which will be elected by the only restriction. What did you say next to you? What I put in the sign on the other did I oh. pick up something? I wanted to add a name with this address to get all the information. Oh, well, that's all right. Is it? I thought it was Angel. A-N-G-E-L. Mrs. Mrs. Bella Sage. I wanted to say that Mrs. Sage and Mohead was covered here. Where was Miss Angel from? Miss Angel? She's in this age.
Ms. Hollis, that NSA section? Is she a head nurse? Ms. Virgin McKenzie, no, she's she's a general duty. Ms. Hollis is general duty. Like she did attend and made great effort to attend. Mm -hmm. She was there for the funeral. Mm -hmm. She was there for the funeral. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at your old one, just referring to a member that had previously served. <coughs> and she and uh, M C K I N Z E Y. Miss Smith, you went to that meeting. No, you, you, I remember you, you didn't get to go. You called. K I N Z E Y. What's her section? She's occupational health. She's over at the wall and um, mm -hmm. refrigerating people. She's always done a very good work. A change Ms. Hollis to general, do you? Thank you. She, 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 does not call oh, for one. Okay, all right. It'd be nice if we could find yeah, one. No. <laughs> uh, Ruth Melber has consented to serve on Which one? Which committee? Nomination. Well, you've got, well, you got seven, seven members on the board. Oh, she's uh, uh, she <laughs> <laughs> a, a line of order. I think the chairman says we have to elect her annually, so would we have to pass on her? Catherine Jacobs just says she, we have to elect her annually. We can't just, we'd have to make her elect her. Huh? Well, she was the last one. I thought she was the last one. She was on the ballot. She was on the ballot. She was on the ballot. She's already. Well, I didn't realize that. I just saw that. So we had to let her go. Yeah. Well, she's not the ballot. Yeah. 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 She's not the ballot. The nominations committee will then consist of Mrs. Catherine Jacobs, Mrs. Shannon, Mrs. Lois Angel, Mrs. Daisy Moorhead, Mrs. Shirley Hollis, Mrs. Sarah Drummond, Mrs. Helen Pemberton, and Mrs. Virgie McKinley. That's Miss Virgie. Thank you. 
from Bud, Mrs. Bud can't be again. No, it just says that they may be elected for a two-year term. This is in the bylaws for the committee. Doesn't say that they can't keep serving. I would like to. Uh, you have a number. Uh, this is rather odd because I'm not sure of my name, but I might see Rosie on that and as chairman. And I believe she said she's, uh, her last name's White. I think it is. I'm not tired because she's coming to speak to the students. She's real dynamic. She works with Red Cross with Miss Bud. Well, I'm sure Miss Bud would be happy to, not to have the chairmanship. She took it because we couldn't get anybody else to serve. Let's put her on the committee. I'd like to add Miss Gladys gone. Well, she she's the assistant to the committee. She's she's really experienced. Well, should we start yeah, with the chairman? Of course, and see if we can't talk to some agreement about who we should be elected as chairman. Of the Thank you. 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 Thank
Uh, and you can put, put that Robinson. name that we don't know what yeah, it is. Yeah, they put, 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 put Robinson's name. Mm. We can't have more. Well, just say the assistant director of public health. I mean, no, it's a great service, Red Cross, Atlanta chapter. Is that all right? He's mm. the <laughs> <laughs> If she's a member, wouldn't that be something that's all this? She's a member, though. Let me see your book. I'll be thinking real quickly and see if I can't find it. Are there any other suggestions for members for this committee? Um, I think Mary Stodgell has worked on this film. I'd like to nominate her. She's Mrs. Mary Stodgell. Mary Stodgell, T O D G H I L L G H I. That's right. And then I L L Stodgell. What section is she? She B A C T. Are there any objections to these persons serving um, the emergency health preparedness and national defense? Glad Solomon, Mrs. Dorothy Costello, and Mrs. Mary Stodgill will serve as members of this committee. This is in addition to Roe and Seymour. Uh, Are they all coming off? Rosie. No, uh, Evelyn Rowe. No, they're coming off? They're coming off. And, and Seymour's coming off. Seymour's Programs Committee. Ms. Anglory Crawford is the chairman of this committee, and we need <coughs> at least five members. Did you ask Ramona, Ms. Bailey? Well, I can testify she's a member. She had Michael Haney. Michael Haney. Haney. Michael Haney. It took her two ways in the name. Cheryl Schofield, who is a member of the Eggleston, a supervisor at Eggleston Hospital, has consented to serve on this committee, too. Cheryl Schofield. Did you say you had Miss Andrews? Yeah. 
know who would be better for you. Well, this is Mrs. Virginia Brown's general duty, and she, and she, we had we put on anything? She was public, that public relations. Which one did Virginia Brown check? Public relations. Public relations. Well, program is public relations. <laughs> sure. I think she's sure. got another name now. A general How about person? Leah Knapp? K-N-A-P-P. L-E-A-H. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that she will be familiar enough, but I think she'd be willing to work. Look, look on your ballots right there. You've got her. I'm, I typed her name up this morning. I, I know because um, uh, you didn't. That's right. You didn't put the missing Mrs. on. Miss 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 Miss. And incidentally, uh, we didn't have that vote for one all over there, and I put it under your first one so you. I was going to say you might like to emphasize that when you call for it. Okay. Are uh, there any? Carolyn, do you know if uh, Aubrey Morris's wife is a member? She's not a member. Yeah. What about? Um, so far as I know, she's not a member. Uh, Bob Ketchison's wife, is she a member? Look up to see if Bob Ketchison's wife is a member. I don't know where, where she was. She, she works at Baptist. Baptist. K E. K-E-C-H-I-S-D-D or T-C-H-I-S-E-D or something like that. She's an awful cute gal. She works at Baptist. If Ms. Morris is there, I don't know if she's the wife of Audrey. I know he has a wife from Grady. She's from Grady. Her name is Terry. She was Terry. We have a Carolyn Morris from Grady, but he's an orphan. It starts with K. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is she general duty NSA? You know, she's I don't not have general duty. Private duty? She does. She's not what NSA. Private duty. That's what we said. Well, look, we don't have a concern. If she's a member, but if she's a member, we ought to get her. I thought she was general duty. She's not NSA. Or private duty NSA. Oh, Gamage would be a good one on that one, or your public relations. She's the one that's done so much. Uh, she plays the piano, and she's the one that has been on our television programs for us every year. Mary Gamage. Yeah, let's have her on that. What's she on now? She was on last year. She's on Bylaws we Channel. Put a, we put her back on Bylaws. Yeah, but we, they don't we really need her on Bylaws. <laughs> 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 Do. <laughs> one, one, one day, she, one time she did the whole poem. She emceed, she played the accompaniment, she was on the television that morning on Don, on Don, uh, we've got seven people listed for her. I think she's in school. 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 I think she's you were not going to put her on as a regular member, right? Or did you say you were? Mary Gamble. Well, we can't put her on two committees. We've got to decide about that. The reason that we left her on the bylaws, she's been on. my opinion that she was on it. She was chairman okay. before, and she knew well, quite a bit about it. We'll just call on them from that. Was well, there another? Them. There was another name that was floating around down here that I didn't get. 
Are we talking? What committee are we talking program. about? Program. 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 Program.
back. Carolyn Atkins. She serves serves on my show. I haven't seen her back on the board. Probably would take it and Carolyn would help her. Be better to let me know. How about our secretary? Yeah. No, ma'am. Thank you very much. <laughs> Already serving us. Diana might accept it as chairman. She okay. accepted the uh, alumni presidency without knowing anything about it, so she she's got busy and learned. So she, she might do that. She might do that. Hey, she's, she's, that she, she did, she's not employed oh, now, and she's at home, and she wants to work. She, she'll probably need a little help, but I think she'd be good at it. Who is that? Virginia Brown, the Virginia Brown, you just didn't write her name. Oh. And I would like to suggest Tommy Marshall. She was on last year. Tommy has been Marshall. Have these people all the same people? No. These people were members at all. Uh, she was. Well, Marshall was a member, but the committee was never called together last year. The chairman didn't renew a membership. Do so, we put any facts on this? Was she good? Was Mildred Burns? She was on last year. Was this that too many people? Yeah. Right? Well, she was on last year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can have uh, if there has to be at least five. I'm so we can have Mildred Burns back on. Thank you. 
those are our health groups, the representatives, and I think you'll find it right after the election of the officer thing. I'm not on the election of committee and look at the end of that on the, on the agenda. Oh, representatives to help you. Thank you. All right, we need people to be appointed to the Joint Health Commission on Area-Wide Planning. It has a new name, but we can't think of what it is. <laughs> uh, last year, uh, Mrs. Merle Lott and Mrs. Gladys Garland were our appointees. I know that Mrs. Garland would very much like to serve on this. Ms. Lott?
receive and dispense with funds. So actually what I sat on was the board of Model Cities Better Health Incorporated. And the board is made up of five professional people plus I believe 13, I'm not sure, but 13 members from the uh, five communities within the model cities. And, uh, in, well, I had nothing to do as far as nursing is concerned the whole time I was there. And I, had I been rep representing public health, I would have had a lot to do. But, um, I kept reminding myself that I was representing nursing. They have, the board meets once a month, and like everything else, they have a hard time getting a quorum, so I did try to go every time. And, and really, this representation, instead of what it originally the appointment was, has turned into being a member of the board of directors of Model Cities Better Health Incorporated. They still want on the board the five professional people, medical, dental, and nursing. Would Mary Woody be a good person for that? Do you don't want to say if I'm against the She's right there there saying Brady is. You meet at night, don't you? You meet at night, night and you meet at um, Model Cities is right, right next to the stadium.
sister is uh, Joy Bradley out at the at William Meeker this year, have we, Mr. Armstrong? Wasn't it this year we went to see a Last year, about oh, okay. the uh, okay. private okay. duty ones when the registry closed in August. I don't think it was in since Christmas. I think okay. they talked to her. But at any rate, she, she has been very willing, okay. but has never rendered a statement. My sister's Joy Bradley out at junior college. She's got a table full of sisters that are nurses, so I guess she's got her family and responsibility. <laughs> Well, uh, is there any reason why she wouldn't be willing to serve again the legal counsel? I move that we retain Ms. Marjorie Thurman for legal counsel. Second. Second. Uh, all those in favor of Ms. Marjorie Thurman serving as legal counsel? Yeah. Uh, opposed? Mrs. Uh, Marjorie Thurman then will be our legal counsel for the coming year. Uh, our next job is to appoint a chaplain. Any names for this position? Let me move be Miss Charity Wells. <laughs> I've had for two years. <laughs> no, I'm not a very good chaplain. No. I, I just had my map open <laughs> to ask Sister Christian. And I really, I mean, I would like for someone else to communicate with me. This does not have to be yes. a member of the board, does it? No. Well, the meetings are opened. It'd be somebody that has to attend your meetings because um, all as we always do. Mm -hmm. Do you have a suggestion other than Sister Christian? Somebody else might make one. Mm -hmm. Sister, you can pray the most beautiful prayer of anybody yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. And just clear voice, you can hear yes. all of that all the time. Mm -hmm. Inspire everybody. <laughs> She's getting dressed. Okay, and John. All those in favor <laughs> of Sister Mary Christian being chaplain, say no. Aye. 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 About our auditors, and so the board may know them last year. They had people to resign in the early part of the year. For sister, for sister, you chaplain. Do you want a motion? Well, these secretaries make nothing nationwide everything. Right. We'd be lucky to get that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that was very sermon. Sure, they weren't giving us the run around because 
they are familiar and have been for the last 10 years. Do you we work. have to have um, 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 professional. Well, these people are professional mm -hmm. officers? Mm -hmm. I think so. Mm -hmm. Even the alumni association. Yeah. Yeah. They did Crawford Law. They delayed us to the point that we wondered if they were interested. That's why I felt it was fair that you should know about it. But Ms. Armstrong knows even after I went on vacation, we had to send in the uh, audit after two years. The our, our financial statement was very late, wasn't it? as well as the uh, income tax. I was sitting here worrying, wondering if they were going to get me up on the because Carolyn was gone. Oh, I, I, <laughs> that's why those three checks I misplaced there. I had all these auditors' books over there, you know, and a million things happening. And we were trying to collect from A&A. &A. They wanted, wanted us to pay some back dues, saying that they overpaid us. But I knew they owed us. And I had to get all the checks and make pictures, and we did get them. We, in fact, we got $164 at one time and 44 more. Oh, he does know our books, and he does know our work, and now that it'll be more simple, even next year. Oh, it would seem to me that one more time, and if they give us any question whatsoever about it, then I would certainly say let's change for definitely. I know of another very large concern that has really nearly pulled its hair out with this thing. No, it wasn't us. I mean, he's real nice when we're getting a tight and, and need to have some information uh, at all times. I mean, it's very courteous, but I doubt it at times where they want us to try and get rid of us. Do I understand that the consensus of, of this group is that we retain them for one more year and then give them a... <laughs> Careful evaluation. I know it depends if you're looking at me. <laughs> Those in favor with them another year, I think maybe. I don't know of anybody else that would know our no, books and our procedures, that. and so much comes up about taxes. Every time you turn around, there's something you've got to know and you've got to call them about. If anybody else has any recommendations for, and they claim they give us a lot rate that's uh, a discount, uh, the $200, that that's less than most all of the charge. Because he does give us advice and does write letters, for instance, when we need a letter on what paper to hold on to. And uh, after you talk to him and after you pulled your hands a bit, why then you think, well, the problem solved, and they did do it, and they promised to do it, you know, if anything came up again about the registry, then you wonder. With well, last year, the first year we had done it? And getting it on time, yes. Yeah. That's the only yeah. time. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The yeas have it. We will try this board needs to appoint auditors of elections. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lewis, Chairman, if Ms. Lewis is willing, I'd like to... Oh, I'm here. Excuse me. Well, I'd like to uh, move that 
that we are partners and slurs after of elections. I don't know if I can get my same two from the same ring or not. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor of the slow serving the dogs of election. Opposed? Maybe we'll have more money then. We'll go out and see. We have to set the time and the place of the board and <coughs> of the district. The programs uh, committee decides the date, the time, and the place of the programs meetings which are held in May and November, so we leave that up to your committee, Ms. Crawford. We set the time and place of the May and November. Right. It's the second Thursday What we need is this meeting was held on the second Thursday in January and March. That's March. what I, I was going to ask you. Do we have to have them before the program meeting uh, on the new bylaws? We've been having it, but do we have to? The board. Oh. How long will it take us to confirm the, the members? <laughs> well, uh, the previously, the reason you got your form ahead of time is taken us always to the middle of January after had a third meeting Together. and after we've written at least a half a dozen times so that's why we've asked this time to be sure they're members and be sure they're consented and uh, uh, give me some alternates somebody to go on to fill the vacancies if they don't because uh, it's constantly uh, for about two to three months. I'll have a All we need to do is set the time and the place. The, the, uh, Have we always had the meetings here at St. John's? The filters are available if you want. The program meetings. You say that in some cases? Yes. And I think everybody's used to coming here. This seems to be pretty centrally located. The board and the district business meeting. Right. Fine. And the time is four o'clock, four thirty. What, what time suits you all best? What time is best attended? Probably the four o'clock meeting, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. With the, the big meetings at four I changed it last time. It was been it been 4:30 so long, and I got the notices mixed up and sent them out to 4:30 when it'd been changed to 4 o'clock for last time. But on the calendar, I believe it is 4 o'clock. We tried it for this year to see how it would work, and I believe it's been about as about as well, don't you think? It's I think so. I think most nurses get off at three or at least by 3:30, and they like to get home. Like to get home get home for dinner. Mm -hmm. So that the, the time um, of the board and business meetings of the district will be at 4 o'clock. Is that good for the program meeting? Well, now the you can set that yourself. Program meeting, you may want that at night time for November. Okay. For instance, the friendship dinner right. or mm -hmm. tea if you wanted friend. We One reason we changed that, we when we're having nurse week, we had a conflict that we'd have to have a business meeting and then go and have our uh, maybe a conference during the daytime or four, and then the, uh, that night have a commemorative service, which made us one time three meetings in one day. But in a rate, mm -hmm. they may in November. We could then have the friendship dinner in November. You, you, 
you plan that and set the time and the date, and we will send notices. I'm wondering, may I ask the group how you feel? We've got to cut down on postage as much as we can. If we send the calendar, and if you wanted me to, I could even uh, have it printed in red on the business meeting. they change the color on that and tell them that that is their official meeting for the regular meetings, business meeting, and eliminate every time we send a mail in, it's $60. Mm -hmm. And then we'd have to send it out anyhow for your program meetings, and of course you would for your annual meeting too, I think, I mean, since that one's so important. What do you think about us trying to eliminate that? Or do you, do you think it's worth that much in saving the postage of $60? It, it means 1,100 cards every time every time you do it, and that's 60, 60 to 66 dollars. We've been sending out a card for each We've meeting. We've been sending out a card for each meeting in all sections that give me the cards. Now, right now, I've got to wait till Wednesday because I had 2,000 September, but see, I sent 1,100 for us, and all sections have been notified now except the public health, and I have none for the private duty. So I have not quite enough for the uh, public health section. I got to notice they well, Friday, I think it was, and um, I'll, I'll send them Wednesday. We have a check for the post from Wednesday. Could, could I ask a question? I mean, before I go. Yes. Excuse uh, me. If we, if we eliminated that, and I think you're right, it might be something we could think of another method. And I know the telephone committee is the old hat. They work in church groups. I tell you, unless there's something each time, can't depend on these people looking at their calendar and numbers. Well, as busy as we are, I wonder how a telephone <coughs> committee might do. You wouldn't make it. You don't time consuming. You could call 25 people and take two days sometimes yeah. to get them all. <laughs> I think your time is worth more than the $60. But I think that if we depend on their looking How often do, I'm, this is my marriage question, half asked, how often does the little magazine come in? We don't have a form of, of, of no, business. We used to have nursing. our little meter, but we don't have it until we get more money. If we had it in Georgia Nursing, I don't suppose it would, we no. would have to pay to put it in the mail at each level. Would we? It wouldn't, it wouldn't come out in time to uh, coincide with to your coincide. Well, To do enough. Well, this oh. is what I was thinking it would. Well, when you what? think of the amount of views that everybody takes, I feel like that you just a card notice for meeting would be at all. Well, I ask that because I have been criticized for doing it in the way we yeah. spend monies, and I, I just wanted to know how the board felt about it. If you felt the calendar was sufficient, or if you feel the reminder of the card is what you want. All right. Have to do to qualify for bulk rates and mail. Well, we can we get though we get that type of mail, but uh, when we do that, we've got to make it up and put every every bit of it in a sorted uh, zones, every zone, and it takes about two days to do that. It's cheaper to go ahead actually and send your postcard because then if it gets to the post office, then third rate. Uh, it's their privilege to take it whenever they can get to it. Yeah, it may be delivered this week or next week. So yeah. actually, now we used to be able to print cards on our little mimeograph and do them well. I printed as many as 1,100. But they've gotten so careless in the post office or using a slip of paper or something. I even went to the, the marine picture on the card. And this morning, I did your public health one this morning. You have about 45, not less than that. I did yours over again, Ms. Langford, because I didn't dare let you see that one, but about every third one, it'll pick up two, and then the next one come along will have imprint on the back. So it's a false economy for me to try to do them. I, I address them. Ms. Monaco will run them for 2 to $3, depending on how many, on, on an offset, and then they, they come out very, very nicely and don't stick. But it means that I'm going to leave the office at 2.15 to get ahead of that 4 o'clock traffic to get out to Executive Park. I'm taking too much time. But I did, did want to tell you about that because uh, those are things that we have to do. What I was thinking, I know the telephone committee is 
not going to work. But I was thinking that in our own office, see, if one card could go to a member and let her tell everybody. Do you think this would be any merit in one to every hospital? I have about 65 set up on an addressograph that would take care of the heads of all the nursing health agencies well, and groups. Do and uh, when you have something special, we'll we'll do three or four hundred and tell them to post it. We can do that in addition to the other if you want to. Just trying to say you have to do all these cards, but I think they forget it. I think the cards are really valuable because I put them in a certain place, you know, that right back to it. I would agree. I think they're valuable reminders, even though they are expensive. Uh, the next item on the agenda is the appointment of authorized persons for persons for membership approval. Uh, since the uh, national ANA has changed their methods of membership, <laughs> we have a problem with our, in our own organization in getting information about the newly nominated members, and I think Ms. Ed can speak to that better than I can. I will make, I talked to Ms. Um, Lott with it this morning, and she will be the membership chairman, and whatever she agrees to do, we would. Briefly, previously, we sent out at least 4,000 self-addressed envelopes with everything the member needed in there. The dues notice, certification blank, statistical blank, which is what we needed, and directors, and also from a and &E. Now, a and &E came out with a little self-addressed envelope, and on this very big intensive campaign you're going to hear about for about five years, they're telling this member she made, it's a self-addressed to the American nurses and they tell them to mail it directly to A&A &E, and then they'll send them this dues notice and then they'll bill them directly. Now that's new members too, uh, in addition to your old renewals. But on that it said that 5th District may wish to review the credentials and it mentioned on that that 5th District to comply with bylaws was to have an authorized person or persons to sign for it. Now they do not give on that um, little envelope, any school of nursing, any references, any telephone number, nor uh, other credentials that we need in clearing a person and knowing who they are. For, for instance, we have three Catherine Popes or five Virginia Browns, and we do have five Virginia Browns. So my suggestion after evaluating it three weeks of going over every angle in the world would be that we go back, if it meets with this approval, that right now, until we can get these printed by the Royal MACD and they'll do it for less than $200 and give them to us within four weeks, he thinks. We keep this card, a punch card, as a standing file. We keep everything, membership, payroll, all the information we need on it. We already have that on you, on everybody, except those 110. I just had to stamp them on them. I still haven't gotten the information. Until we do that, we could use a little card that we already have printed and this one for all you recruiters and give to the person and give out directives on a little folder that we designed last year uh, stating, you know, let them mail it to 5th District and then we sign on authorized whoever you designate to sign this little self-addressed envelope. I believe you have that uh, with you, Ms. Uh, if you don't, I have one here. And that would comply with A&E &A when they go ahead and send out mail about a self-mailer. They've done 34 beautiful kits here for y'all to be recruiting members on so they have something really planned for you. Here it is. You see, this little, little thing does not give any information that we need on our file. And why send it to us and then send it back to them? We've got to have some way for us to get that information. So. I, I believe firmly that for 5th District to go ahead and they say they have a three, uh, another application form that can be mailed back to us. But in the meantime, the directors they'll send to them, they'll refer to that Seth mailer. And I think they're going to be wanting that Seth mailer. And that's what A&E &A, uh, has indicated, that the method that they feel will expedite it. So in the last several years, if I've had a certification card, we have been authorized to go ahead and send that person in if everything is clear. 
If there's any doubt whatsoever, we will vote for additional information, references, and the membership committee will review it, defer it, decline it, or, or, or approve it, and then uh, recommend to the board which adhere to your bylaws. Now, whatever you wish me to do, I'll be glad to do it. It's been very difficult to get the information from them. Ms. Lott, you have anything you want to add to that or what we talked about? Well, this morning we had a, a meeting, and uh, Caroline kind of explained it to me. And you've got this right here, haven't you? This is what you've worked out. That's the little folder that we would have uh, put into the little brown folder. She's really gone through it. Uh, blow by blow. We had that one printed last year and had circulated about 4,000 of them. So we would revise it and bring it up to date as to the new method. And uh, let them write to us. And if you authorize, either Ms. your membership chairman, and your president wants to do it, or anybody else, or if you want me to do it, then when this goes to that member, they may go immediately and send it to A&A. &A. And what we're trying to do is get yeah. the process as quickly as possible and make sure that they are eligible for membership, right? So what we'll do, the membership uh, committee is to try and, and stimulate membership. And it comes in, and let's see, Carolyn, you told me this morning this is how we do this. But we're going to use this card right here, which we already have, until we can get the other cards which you want us to offer, okay? And then when they come in, <coughs> before they go to a and &A, we've got to get them to your office, right? And you make out the forms and do all these many things. Complete this. You're going to complete this yourself. We can do that for them. Go ahead from their card and type it in and, and fix it for them and have it ready to send. Or we can just go ahead and type their name in and um, send it sign back. it and let them fill the balance of it. If How would we to. get it back to them? Well, we have to mail. We have to send them a calendar schedule of the year. We're going to have to use that stamp anyhow. You'll anyhow. consider them a member then. Well, I would go ahead when they send me a check immediately if I can within the next few days. I send them a receipt. Uh, even when it goes to A&A. &A. And then I send them a scheduled card if I have them. If not, they get a calendar. Everybody gets a calendar. Yeah. She's and you have to send back something anyhow the for them. The thing about know. it is that when you send it back to the person, the person is supposed to fill it in and send it on to A&A &A so they can be billed. Now, if they That's paid right. for their dues, they paid their dues all right already. But they have to pay them directly to A&A. &A, That's not? right. And then A&A, &A, instead of sending us a three by five card which has not been satisfactory they're going to send us a list a type list and each list will tell you exactly how much that person's paid bring it up to date the thing that i couldn't understand is why they're sending it back to you and then sending it back to yeah, them it's bothered me all along but there, there must be some